Hello everyone. In this video, we will go through some of the practical Power BI questions. That is, we'll have some hands-on on Power BI. This will help you to crack the interview questions or exercises when you, you go for that and give you an overview of how a live project is. So, for this video, I am using the Women's Clothing E-Commerce Reviews CSC file from Kaggle.com. The link for this data set is given in the description box. So, as you can see, this CSV has a clothing ID, age, title, department, some ratings, class, divisions and all. So first, let me start by importing this into Power BI. I have just opened my Power BI desktop. So to import it, I'll go to Get Data Sources, text slash CSV. I'll browse my CSV and open it here. So here we can see that here we don't have a column. Okay, we load it and then we will transform the data. Once the data has been loaded, we can you can see the first one is report tab, second is data tab, third is the model tab. We can go to the data tab to see what data has come. So here I can see the first column is coming as column one. There is no name for that column. You can see it here also. This column has no name. So for better understanding, I'll just rename this column to a logical name. Just click, right click on this and click on rename. Uh, let me make it a sequence ID. I click on this tick button, this is the commit and you can see it has been changed here also now. So let me go to the report view. Uh, let's start with the question. The question is the this is uh, like I'm working for a retail client and he, he wants to know what are the ratings, lowest ratings he has received till date. So as we can see the rating starts from four, is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So probably he wants to know the count of the rating which is, is a count of people or count of rating which is 1, that is the least one. So for that I'll we have to, uh, uh, we can see there, the, so sorry, I'll show you that first here, we just do a control A and do cool data and do a filter, here I'll filter it by 1, so this will be the ratings which are having 1, so I'll just copy this, sorry, control A, control C, just copy and paste it in a different tab so that I will get to know the exact count of it. So you can see there are 843 means 1 minus the headers. So there are 842 ratings which are 1. So similarly we need to get that number in Power BI. For that, we, uh, since we don't have any columns which give us this number, we need to do some calculation. For calculation, I will use a new measure. Measures are created on the fly and they are not the part of the data model. Like if they don't have any physical existence. So I will make it count waiting. Sorry. Is equal to so here in this measures we have to write the DAX functions. I can use the calculate 
if you go to calculate and you can see what is the syntax the syntax is an expression expression means uh, anyways uh, it can be a other measure or it can be a combination of some aggregation or some function with a table sorry column name but it cannot be a naked column name so for this if you just uh, try you can we have to count the rating so we can use the function count there are a lot of count functions uh, I'm just going with a normal count here so if I do a count now the count takes a column name here it doesn't take an expression column name I'll give rating and I'll close this count I'll just give a comma so calculate has two parameters one is the expression and second is the filter now you can see the filter is highlighted so if whatever I write here will get filtered so here I want the ratings which are 1 so I can give that column name women's e-commerce rating you can see the column is coming sorry uh, I'll do equal to 1 close the braces and I'll click on this to validate So my validation is done now since I have to display the count I can use the card because card is will show us a single number which will be useful in this case so if I drag count rating here you can see it is 842 and here also we had 842 843 means one first one is our heading so you can see we are getting the correct count here if you want to do some formatting you can go to this tab which is format and in the data label I can give some colors like I want it to be blue color we can change the values we can change the size then in the background color I just give a color so give a light color here so now we can save this Thank you for watching.